So uh, welcome to the uh, Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhdar Resort uh, in Oman. We're in the uh, the Al Hajar Mountains, altitude uh, 2,030 meters uh, in Oman. That's the uh, the main lobby lobby facilities. I'm staying in a uh, one bedroom uh, cliff cliff front uh, pool villa just down here at uh, Mountain's Edge, the Al Hajar Mountains. I'll take you a tour on my. Uh, my villa, these are some of the, uh, the garden view villas you can get. Garden view villas, the villas have a pool, it's the advantage over the rooms. The villas have a pool and uh, I'm staying in a, in a uh, cliff front pool one. It's the end of the walk, it's over here. And uh, I'll take you for a tour around mine. So welcome to uh, Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhtar Resort in Oman. We're high up in the Halaja Mountains, yeah. And uh, amongst famous people that have been here, Besides Mr. K, our Prince of Wales, Prince Charles, and uh, Princess Diana. They came here in 1986. Prince Charles and Lady Diana came to the Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhtar 986, and uh, more than likely they would have stayed in the villa just to my left here, uh, as my former neighbours, ex neighbours, just here. That's the best uh, villa on the resort, and Mr. K is staying next door here, numero dos, two. Villa number two on the resort. So these are all the uh, the uh, cliff front villas. Get yeah, amazing views there. Yeah. So we'll walk to the other side and you'll see. We'll just walk through the garden ones. The gardens are quite nice. Oman is uh, it's a very hot, dry uh, kind of place. Uh, those the yeah, the garden villas. Just up there. Oman is a hot, dry place. And uh, but there's a nice, cool breeze uh, up in the hills. So the altitude 2,000 meters, 6,500 feet. So yeah, this is the same one, number two. That's where royalty would stay, number one. All right. So uh, I'll take you into uh, Shemua and uh, show us like to live at uh, Buckingham Palace as opposed to uh, Kensington Palace, so to speak. Yeah, gardens at uh, Anantara. Okay. Numero Dukes. They say two in French. Dukes, Dukes of Hazard, like that. Uh, the rocks, uh, you have to be careful, all right, on the other side. The mountain goats know what they're doing, but uh, when it comes to humanity, you have to be careful. Alrighty, so we're going to place on the uh, Anantara, Al Akhbal. And uh, Mr. Kane will take you in. I'll show you around, just let this door close. Yeah, you see the mountains already, yeah? Uh, I left it on the latch, but this is what the key card looks like. Sierra Tower key card here. Sierra Tower. Yeah. So I would just stay. Is this the living room? The living room. Uh, you get uh, a nice deck outside. Of me, the pool. Condensation towel, pool. Deck like this. And then the bedroom is just in through here. Bedroom is just in through here. Yeah, and uh, this is the deck. Pool, Al Hajar Mountains. You see mountain goats just wandering across every now and then. I've got it on video on my iPhone. Um, yeah, those are the mountains. It's beautiful, eh? I like that one there. It's got like two bits sticking out. Okay, let's take a room tour. Let's take my flip-flops off that I got at Niyama Private Islands in the Maldives because chill and play room at that place. Uh, the floor is hot, yeah. The floor is hot, so when we go outside, we'll take it onto the rocks. Uh, we'll put the uh, flip-flops on. So you saw the living room already. The living room is just through here. I've got the Anantara's channel on the box. Various uh, places around the world. I think that might be us. Yeah, that might be us here. Various places around the world. And then the bedroom is just through here. Just like this. It's the elephanty friend. And then uh, you get the bathroom in front of the back. Bathroom is from the back. It's like this. It's what time? It's greeting. So welcome to Anantara in Oman. Okay, so you've seen the place. Uh, let's. Uh, Take for a slow walk round, alright? So uh, we're in Oman, 
the Al Hajar Mountains. Um, those are the mountains. They give you. Uh, you can sketch if you're an artist. You can sketch uh, with some pencils as well. So I got here uh, early this morning. Uh, that's uh, Qatar Airways aeroplane. Here at uh, Al Jubal Al Akhtar. Qatar Airways aeroplane and. Mr. K loves Oman. Yeah, I've been to Qatar and Oman three times each now. Previously to Oman was at uh, Six Sense of Bay and Shangri-La near Muscat. Uh, but that's what came to mind when I saw the other uh, drawing. Paper. Okay, so living room. You got the hotels there, TV channel on the box. That says there. The mountains. It's got various island towers. That says. With a full walk around tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to sell some pizza when I got here. Qatar food is quite well, Qatar Airways, but uh, I had to have the pizza. So that's us. Alantara Al Jubal Al Akhtar. High up in the mountains. We make it into this book, which is uh, a collection of uh, the world's 100 most beautiful hotels, 2018 20. I'm not sure who published that, so it's Clock Publishing. Yeah, there's that one, and then uh, it's the Alantara's own book. We make it in here. There's Great hotel, uh, it's Anantara Digu, opening page, I've been there. Casa Al Sarab. And uh, some of the great Anantara's, Thai hoteliers. Going up to the Golden Triangle next month. Yeah, great place around the world. Uh, Bangkok, Riverside, yeah, I've been to a lot of these places. Probably been to as many, uh, probably been to as many Anantara's as I have to resorts in the Maldives. Probably about 15, 20 like that. It's the last place I went to, yeah. So just uh, tucking into my pizza there and relaxing. Off two flights, Qatar Airways, seven hours to Doha from Singapore. Two hours there, we're a two hour drive from Muscat. A two hour drive from Muscat International Airport. Muscat's a really good airport. Oman has been listed by the UN as one of the, as the most improved country in the last 40 years. Muscat Airport, yeah, is a lot better now than when I stayed at Shangri-La many years ago, seven, eight, ten years ago like that. It's actually really nice, yeah. Yeah, it's this living room. Sorry, walk around the place. Give you chess as well, yeah? Who's, who plays chess? Can you win from that position? Yeah, there's one king, a king and a pawn. Can you win from that position, right? Gary Kasparov, uh, Princess Diana and Charles have just come here. I'm not sure if Karpov and Kasparov have. Yeah, uh, get some traditional Oman goodies here. Uh, and some of the, uh, we get this collection of uh, fruits. We get like pomegranates, apricots. When you drive here, it's a two hour drive from Oman. We're actually in a small town here, uh, Al Jabal Al Akhtar. And if you thought all dates were the same, they're not. Those are all different kinds of dates, yeah. There are pomegranate trees, yeah. People's houses in this uh, uh, town, people have pomegranate trees, yeah. Just like out, it's just growing pomegranates. You can just go and pluck it off the street. It's really nice. I've never seen that before. I think my grandmother's house in Sri Lanka has pomegranate trees as well. Yeah. I'm going to highlight the fact we're in uh, Oman. In a super villa. There's gold playing cards there. Alright, this is your uh, mini bar section kind of thing. Uh, so you got lots of bottled water. Nice uh, covers on. That's the other logo, I think. Get your teas and your coffees. The tea, unfortunately, is not Dilmar of Sri Lanka. All right, it is uh, Daman. All right, Daman. Which country is Daman? Don't know. I'll stick to coffee here. Nescafe, yeah. I can handle Nescafe. Yeah, and you got all these goodies. Various kinds of uh, Thai. The entire Thai. Thai spicy meats. And that's a good, great hotel here. Great resorts around the place, yeah. Khazar al We saw in the book, yeah. Digu. Yeah, mixed nuts. So the bits and pieces, yeah, that's your minibar section. I think we've covered everything in here. Minibar, the paintings, the TV, Mr. K's artwork, Mr. K loves Omar and the Qatar Airways plane, the deck, my pizza, the fruit and the uh, traditional Romanian vase. How do you pronounce vase? Is it vase or vase? It's really nice, eh? Alright, let's get into the bedroom. Got a study table here. It's the view that I'll be waking up to, yeah? Just like that. Let's get a study table. So we're at uh, the cliff front side. 
says Mr. K. So these are all the cliff front villas. Villas. They have rooms as well like this. Uh, when you come here, don't bother getting a room, yeah? Rooms about 300 US a night. 300 US for a room. The villas are about 800, 900 US. You get a pool, much better view, and you get to stay next door to uh, where Prince Charles and Diana would have stayed. With same views. I'll walk you out in front of there, yeah? There's a lobby there. Garden villas. So we just started here and just walked down garden villas. It's actually a very small, compact resort. It's very easy uh, to do. Yeah, so somebody, you'll see that. I'll take you out the front here, that's what it looks like. Pretty much. Yeah, it's a spa room, uh, menu. Another place to get pen. I like the uh, the writing pen. You only have to plan days when you're on holiday, yeah? It's nice, it's like this. Alan Taras. It's cool. Yeah. Alright, let's get walking. Lovely paintings on the wall. Yeah, that's what the bedroom looks like. Just kind of get to uh, live, eat, sleep, all that kind of stuff, yeah? In the mountains. Yes, the neighbours are just there. Prince and Charles. The other ones are over here. I'll show you it all. Lovely pool. I'm going to turn the pool off this video, I promise you. Yeah, lovely deck chairs. My Niyama private islands chill and play. Uh, Flip-flops. The floor was hot earlier. It's not quite so bad now. Yeah, it's bedroom. Yeah, it's lovely. Uh, it's not a beach bag, right? Uh, but it's lovely. That one's coming straight in red boy. Uh, Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhta. It takes a few guys to get the pronunciation right. Al Jabal Al Akhta Resort. It's the elephant they made for us. Next month, Golden Triangle, Thailand. Yeah, I promise you, you won't see elephants. Anantara. Uh, yeah, welcome to Anantara. They give you binoculars. Give you binoculars so you can do a bit of sightseeing. So just uh, like that. You can see, uh, look, you can see France from here, yeah? You can see France, you can see the Eiffel Tower. I could see it earlier. Yeah, they've got a good explanation. So, like, on the right is Syke Village. Uh, in the middle is Aznin, there's a two teeth. Salut Village. Uh, in between the two mountains is Iski. Iski is a famous town here. And to your left is the Red Mountain. So, this is the uh, Red Mountain. So, Al Jabal Al Akhtar, the other name is Green Mountain. We're supposed to be the Green Mountain. Uh, green Mountain because I'm wearing a green shirt. Uh, no, no, Green Mountain because the trees are green there, yeah. This mountain goes to walk past. That one is a red mountain there, on that thing it said, yeah. So the binoculars, the Eiffel Tower as well. That's the red mountain straight ahead. We're the Green Mountain, Al Jabal Al Akhtar. Uh, the two teeth, that one, uh, there. And between these two mountains is actually, it's called Izi. And there's a very famous town here called Mizwa. It's about half an hour from here. It's about 15 kilometers, Mizwa. Uh, which is alternatively known as the, the Pearl of Islam. Apparently in Islam, uh, Oman is a Muslim country. In the, it's called the Pearl of Islam, Mizwa. Historically, uh, it's a very uh, great uh, place. All right. So that's the deal. I'll show you the bathroom. We'll do uh, Google Maps. Yeah, you got the red boy here as well. Let's see, you got a little closet like this. Red boy off the plane. And the red boy has been given a name. Can you imagine that? It's been given a name. Like that. And I'm tired of calling and getting a name. I guess the lovely bathrobes. That's the conventional one. And then you also get uh, the traditional variety. That's very good. Might wear that when I go to the bar for dinner. Uh, drinks before sunset. It's nice, isn't it? And then, uh, got my South African football jersey when I went for FIFA 2010 in South Africa. Singapore Airlines Formula One jersey. All right, just to top it off. So, Formula One next next month now, yeah? Okay. Yeah, so that's the bedroom. And now we will go in the bathroom. We'll do that. It's lovely. So, Qatar Airways gets into Oman this morning, five o'clock in the morning. Uh, hotel sends you there, but you have to, you're going to get up here by 4x4, four four, yeah? Because it's quite, we're at 2,000 meters. Muscat Airport is zero, it's at sea level, yeah? So 2,000 meters altitude, so they send you there 4x4 four four to pick you up. Two hours drive, and then, uh, yeah, you get here. Villa, bathroom. Great. Sports fans. Sports fans, greetings. Uh, welcome to Oman. Welcome to the, uh, the Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhtar Resort. Oh, my altitude 2,000 meters, nice cool breeze, keeping me cool. Yeah, I see toiletries here. I like soap, it's not something you eat. 
and a tara. And then uh, the bathroom is just around the back in here. So Omani culture uh, it goes back a long way. I told you the Nizwa, the historical town, Pearl of Islam. Yeah, it's a bathroom, so very, uh, I thought it was Greek or Roman, but it's actually Omani. Yeah, so this is the bathroom. So in the shower, barefoot. Yeah, it's like this. See so upstairs, sideways, downstairs. And so on. Soap society for colour in here. Soap society, uh, like this. Get your bathtub through right here. It's a nice place and a nice villa. And the toiletries are Amuaje, it says on there. It says Amuaje. So the tea is Daman, it's not Doma. Which country is Amuaje? Sounds French. You get an outlaw of it as well. You get an outlaw of it in the shower. Open, uh, that's not the shower, it says things too. Hang your clothes and stuff. Open air. It's actually just clouded over, which is really nice. It's really hot this morning. Yeah, it's open air. Yeah. It'll go in there, yeah. It's better going out the front, I'll show you. Yeah. Yep, it's the bathroom. Boys and girls, no comment. That's Oman, that's Anantara, that's Al Jabal Al Akhtar Al Maktoum. Yeah. I flew here with the Qatar, not Emirates. Yeah. Alright, showing Google Maps where we are. Look at this, dear Mr. Case of Viraj. They watch me, they follow me on social media. Dear Mr. Case of Viraj, we've only given you the second best villa on the resort. Yeah, you book direct, yeah. Uh, if you book direct, you get uh, like stuff like this. Yeah. It's supposed to book on Expedia. Which I still do. Yep, bedroom. Ready? Do Google Maps and then I'll walk you out to Cliff. This is uh, Google Maps. That's where we are. So that's Diana's viewpoint. Uh, so that's where she stood. There, the yoga class is there in the morning. Uh, so my villa is here, cliff front. Main lobby here, which walks around a small resort. The rooms are here. Rooms are here and here. Infinity pool. Diana's viewpoint that you saw on the map. And we're about 180 kilometers. A two-hour drive from Muscat Airport. Yeah, uh, Muscat Airport. Uh, that's Muscat there. Yeah, the airport is just there. Then you come bombing down here at 120 kilometers an hour, straight down the highway. It's all sea level, and then uh, straight down this road. And you get into the mountains. It takes an hour to come from there to here, and an hour to come from there to here. All right, the 4x4 does the trick. So we are in Oman, Straits of Hormuz, Persian Arabian Gulf, and Qatar was just there. You saw the bit that sticks out. So Mr. Cake flew in from there to here, plenty earthy. All right, so yeah. Okay, we've got everything there. Let's. Uh, Let's walk out uh, onto the rocks here, it's really nice, that's why people come here. Uh, Diana's viewpoint is actually on the other side of the resort, I saw that earlier. But uh, let me uh, walk you out. Okay, go back to the living room. Come back and eat the pizza and uh, jump in the pool. Now that I've uh, remembered this place. The deck. We have to walk slowly when we go on the rocks, yeah, because it's rocky and in, uh, I don't want to fall off down the canyon. And it's an impressive canyon. Ready? Let me get my uh, boys and girls. Uh, let me get my uh, Niyama Private Islands Maldives flip flops on. Chill and play. They give you shoes here, yeah, but they're not, uh, they're like indoor ones, not the outdoor sort. Yeah, the bag you saw. Yeah, the deck soaks in for a second. Nice uh, plants and stuff. If we're lucky, we'll see the mountain goats, yeah, but if we're not, uh, I'll edit it down. Alright, so at least do get to see the mountain goats wandering across uh, my villa here. 
Just walk along this path. Yeah, it's a one bedroom cliff pool villa. It's really, I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's much, it's hot this morning. Uh, it's just cooled down a bit, which is nice for this walk. Yeah, which is nice for this walk. Yeah, it's about 900 US for this. 900 US dollars. Alrighty, let's go down. Should I take the camera with me or should I leave it, go down and pick it up? Uh, there's the neighbors. Take a uh, 30 seconds of uh, let's break it up. Nice plants as well. Right, let's get down. Go on, now private islands, okay? Get down there. Oh, yeah. Easy. Okay, let's uh, let's go this way first. I'll show you uh, where royalty stays and I'll show you where Mr. to go to was. Right, so that's the gardens, yeah? Uh, there's nobody next door. I was earlier playing around and messing around with the goats, taking photos and stuff. So, yes, this is the best villa on the resort, just here. Uh, it's probably also where Princess Diana and Prince Charles would have stayed. There's nobody there. Oh, just walk straight out front first. Okay. So this is what the gardens look like. Yeah, it's all rocks and uh, stuff like this. It's very good at Oman Airport. The escalators at Oman Airport, Muscat. The escalators, the travelators, they have this on their sides. Okay, welcome to Oman. There's nobody there. All right. That's the best villa on the uh, on the resort. Looks like to me, it looks like Buckingham Palace. More so than uh, Kensington Palace, but uh, yeah, it's the place. Anyway, Mr. K is next door just there. See all the other uh, villas. Ocean, uh, those are the cliff front pool villas, yeah. On the other side, it's all rooms. Don't uh, just get a villa if you come here. Uh, the pool makes it. Okay, so this is one view. Yeah, uh, slowly pan around. So I saw the goats as well. We walked across my villa and uh, Got my camera, ran out, and then we're just over there. Alright, but I've shown you the best in town. Let's walk back to uh, so I'm this one here. Yeah, you can walk around it safe here, yeah? The rocks have been here for thousands of years. You saw the vase in the room, but minor culture dates back. Oh, there's a cat there. There's a puss puss. Let's cut him off. That's my villa. I saw a black cat. I don't think it's supposed to be here, yeah? Uh, we don't have jaguars and stuff here. There's my village just there. That rock moved when I stood on it. Yes, yeah, so that's my villa. There's a black cat here. Our black cat's lucky. Ask a mouse. Puss puss. Puss puss. Come here. We want you to answer a question. Our black cat's lucky. Ask a mouse. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's my villa. Alright, best views in the world. No. Uh, maybe. Our oh, black cat's lucky. Uh, you'll find out if I don't fall off. Here. Let's ask a mouse business, yeah? Get some of the neighbours. Okay, so we walked out of the rocks. So that's one of the villages here. I'm not walking right at the edge. See one of the villages down there in the canyon. This one's safe. So the fall, I've got that ledge to break my fall, alright? Broken leg is better than being dead, alright. It's got a village down there. We're at 2,000 plus meters here. The area is much thinner, okay? And it's about 35 Celsius here. There's a village down there. It's the canyon. That's probably the street down to the highway from uh, Muscat Airport. To the canyon. Yeah, 
Yeah, royalty, Kensington Palace, Chamois number two, two for two, two, two. The neighbors, more neighbors, and our black cat's lucky. Ask a mouse. Yeah, okay, I'm walking across here. Yeah? That's what the goats did, yeah, earlier. Just walked across. Yeah, the neighbors. Sometimes you hear the goats down there. You see the various ledges. There's a village down there. Still, it was on there with card, wasn't it? The name. So, Zyke, there's an airport, there's an airfield down here somewhere. Zyke. Uh, presumably, you can fly here domestic, but uh, the hotel's website seems to suggest you fly into Muscat, take the wheels. That's what we did. Nice rock there. Mesmerizing views, huh? Another village down there as well. It's quite a traditional society, I think, Oman society. Another traditional village down there. Traditional in the sense that they're living up here as opposed to in Muscat. I told you that Oman is the most improved country in the last 40 years, according to the UN. That's why I keep going back here from last year at Six Cents of Ziggy Bay, back to Anantara here, and uh, yeah. People are lovely as well, yeah. All the locals are absolutely lovely people. They want to meet foreigners, like me. Alrighty, so there's the hills. Uh, we'll go back in. See you in the pool. Alright, I think I'm, a, I'm in the pool yet, yeah? I must have a swim more than anything else. So, uh, yeah, show you the canyon. In the place. In this case survived, so the answer is black cats are lucky. Uh, you can ask a mouse if you want. But uh, I'll tell you right now, black cats are lucky. Here at uh, Anantara, Al Jabal, Al Akhta, Oman, my one bedroom cliff front pool villa. Great views. Yeah, great views of the canyon. Absolutely amazing. Alright, I'll see you in the pool. Be back here later as well. Yeah. Ready, back to Shemois. Right, see the pool people. So uh, we have rain. We have rain in the uh, in the Middle East. Just as I finished swimming in the swimming pool, it started raining, and uh, yeah, we're at one of the world's highest resorts here. 2,000 meters, 6,000 plus feet, one of the world's highest resorts. It's all raining, so uh, in the villa, they just brought us around some uh, goodies, a bit of fruit, some fruit, uh, some bites there, olives, cheese, bread, a bit of uh, raw fish, yeah, and uh, complimentary hotel. Uh, Bottle of champagne, Andre, Californian brute, California. Yeah, all compliments to the Anantara because it's regnant, EC. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the villa, Mr. K. Brought the rain with you from the Maldives, eh? It's raining. Yeah, sit in there for a bit and uh, let the rain pass. And, uh, yeah. The rain doesn't pass, so I just drink that bottle of champagne. No, we're going out for a walk. At the bar for a drink and so on. All right, I'm gonna show you some rain in the Middle East. First time it's rained ever while I've been in the Middle East. It's the right altitude. All right, see you later. So I've got a, uh, 
a lovely uh, moonlit moonlit evening here in the uh, Al Hajar Mountains. Al Hajar Mountains of Oman as uh, dusk falls and the lights come on. So, at an altitude of uh, 2,000 meters, this is the, uh, the cliff front uh, pool villas. It's mine now. It's doing an evening turn down service. That's neighbors. And uh, yeah, dusk is falling. So, walk you onto the uh, the edge of the canyon so you can see what it looks like at this time. Uh, so the rain shower, we had a rain shower earlier. Uh, it actually developed a bit of more of a rain shower. Thunder and lightning and uh, we had a power cut in the entire valley. But the uh, the lights are back on as you can see down there in the village. Lights are back on and uh, it's back to business as usual so to speak. But uh, yeah, Al Jabal Al Akhda, the place in the evening. The rocks uh, it gets bright quite early, like five o'clock in the morning. So, uh, but anyway, it's the canyon in the evening. It's the village down there. It's beautiful. It's absolutely amazing being here. Some great uh, locations for uh, Anantar resorts. It's, uh, those are the street lights that you see out there. It's the street lights here at the mountain. Yeah, and the villas. So I think they're just bringing uh, evening turn down service going on. I think dinner should be coming in a minute. So, uh, see for dinner. But, uh, just want to show the place in the evening. It's lovely. This is the good in das evening. Yeah. Looking down the canyon like this. Yeah. That's the canyon just there. I'm standing here. Wow. Oh, I feel dizzy. All right, going back in the villa. All right, we'll see you for dinner. See you for dinner. So, a uh, very good morning to you all here at the uh, the Anantara Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhta Resort, the Al Hajar Mountains of Oman. Local time is uh, six o'clock in the morning. Six in the morning and uh, got a lovely day in the making. It's one of the local villages down there. The people will be waking up. Very good morning to you all. People of Oman, lovely people, and uh, yeah, let's go for a walk onto the uh, gardens outside. See sunrise happening just beyond uh, Kensington Palace there. And uh, yeah, it's mine, Samoa. A lovely uh, dinner last night and uh, so on. Time to go for a swim again in the pool. Uh, through all the uh, cliff front pool villas. Best room category here, yeah. If you visit here, get one of these. Bit of a rain shower yesterday. Uh, the cooling breeze at this altitude. Despite the heat, it's actually very nice. You leave the doors open with the air conditioning. It's very nice. Very, very good morning to you all here at uh, Anantara in Oman. Yeah, very nice. Time for breakfast and uh, swim in the pool. Check out uh, Diana's Point this morning. And, uh, very good morning to the people of Oman, the local village. And my neighbors. Good morning, my neighbors. Uh, standing on my deck here, standing on my deck, uh, admiring the scenery, the uh, Al Hajar Mountains at Anantara. Got a uh, family of uh, mountain goat just uh, casually wandering past. Family of a mountain goat. I think they live up here, yeah. I think they've uh, come for lunch. It's about lunch time. Hello, boys. You can come and uh, have a swim in my pool if you want. That's my deck here. Especially uh, strolling past. Uh, 
Mantara, Al Jabal, take you in the pool uh, for a swim. The lovely uh, Al Hajar Mountains, take you in the pool for a swim. Lovely morning here in uh, Oman. The rain Charles of yesterday, we're going for a swim. It's like this a cliff pool villa. The water is lovely and warm. But uh, sunrise happening just over there. Mr. Sunny is waking up for the day, giving us light. The day, see uh, the villa here. Cliff pool villa, it's the best room category, yeah? If you come here, make sure you stay here in the cliff pool villa. The Al Hajar Mountains. I think it's the highest mountain range in the Middle East. Cool uh, breezes to keep you cool. Summer and uh, the swimming pool water is lovely and warm. For having a hot, sh hot bath. Yeah, up in the pool, pool at the Anantara, it's really nice. Let me introduce you to my uh, friend here. There's a butterfly in the pool somewhere. <laughs> in the friend here. I was here just now, there's a butterfly in the pool. There's a butterfly in the pool, yeah? Yep, that's the villa. Morning swim at sunrise. And then I'll take one more length. See my butterfly friend there. There you get mountain goats that walk past every now and then. I haven't seen one this morning yet, I saw a few yesterday. Uh, it's 7 o'clock, 7.30 in the morning. So, uh, yeah, they might come around a bit later. All right, that's my pool. Mr. K's pool to wake up before breakfast. Ciao. It's, uh, it's time to leave the uh, the lovely uh, Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhtar Resort. We're all uh, packed and ready to fly to Qatar. Ready to uh, leave this uh, lovely place and uh, take the hotel's wheels to Muscat Airport and then jump on Qatar Airways to Qatar. That's the, uh, the place. I should be once more for the last time. I will see for the last time. The lovely Al Hajar Mountains uh, just beyond my pool there. And Oman. Yep, living room. And the bedroom is just through here. Yep, red boy. And the blue boy. Packed again, along with my elephant friend there. Watching uh, proceedings out of the window. Just looking out for the goats, to be honest. The mountain goats. Alrighty. That's uh, Anantara Al Jabal Al Akhtar. Cliff Pool Villa. Very nice place. Alright, enjoyed the stay. And uh, see you in Qatar. Thank you very much, Anantara. I love this day. It's at Anantara, the Golden Triangle in Thailand. Chiang Rai next month. Anantara Golden Triangle next month. Today it was uh, Al Jabal Al Akhta. Boys and girls. Alright, ciao. Al Hajar Mountains of Oman.